everybody. This is Nia, Boaz, and Elia here. How are you? As you can see, I'm with the child, and this is the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 7th and the 14th of March 2020. You want to say hello? Say hello. Tagidi Shalom. Hi. Chuchi, I need to learn now. Why should we learn more? Is it good? Is it good? Is it good? I can't even learn, Chuchi. I'm sorry, guys. This is the the parenting, you know. Ah, she has peepee. So I'm I'm gonna leave you for a minute. Ani ba, ani ba. I'm coming back. Okay, we're back from outer space. So, we are in the middle of this time that I've been speaking about for so long, you know. A time that r raises anxiety and fear and truly terrorizes us. Like, nothing over the last 40 years, you know. Everybody's in this trauma that the world is changing faster than we can grasp that there's new threats on the horizon that we cannot control and that they're global well it's a sign of having also a lot of mutable energy in the sky that is coming to a point of you know culmination this sunday with the sun being conjunct with neptune <coughs> and after this Sunday, it will slowly go down. And <coughs> we could feel like we are waking up. We could feel like we are rising back into our senses and into action. And this specificity and need to disconnect, forget, and, and rest and sleep and, and not think about the anxiety disseminates. Uh, <clears throat> and by April we'll be behind it at least one of the nastiest times that we've been expecting over this year but there's two more peaks but this would be one of them and we're heading into this peak with the super moon the super moon that is in, in the 19th degree of the sign of Virgo, also connected to health, also a mutable sign. And it would be opposing Neptune in Pisces and the Sun, of course. This is a time for errors, this is a time for anxiety and fears, but it is also a time to see the unity of things. It is also the time to see the interconnectedness of things. We are all related. This is the time to understand the value of our commonality. Our strength as an ocean. This is the time to put more emphasis on friends and family and community. And being there for one another. This is a time to choose love over fear. It is a time to make yourself a light against the pending darkness. And once you have that light inside you, you would not be afraid of the dark anymore. You would be a ghostbuster. You would be an exorcist. You would be a light in a dark place. And never forget that as little as we are, we still go to the bathroom and have our needs and cravings that are totally of the behemoth that is just beneath our shoulders. And that's a beast, okay? And that's a beast we need to learn to coexist with. We can understand many things up here. The beast would have its will, you know? And that will would not be 
dictated by, by what we understand. It can be much more primal and emotional than what we understand. Another important conjunction happening Sunday is that Venus planet of relationship, satisfaction, and material assets is conjunct Uranus, the planet of abrupt changes and upgrade. This is a time to change and go forward if that's what you want to do. But if you don't want things to change too much, don't be rocking the boat too much right now with your work and with your relationships. <clears throat> Monday is energetic, full of energy, full moon, trining Mars, trining Jupiter. I mean, a lot of energy that doesn't really have a where, a where to be directed to. We can feel it building up, but we still don't have the outlets. But it's a good thing. Um, <clears throat> we can feel the warming up. And a day later, on the 10th, Mercury stops and starts moving back forward. And we'll not be uh, moving away from the shadow of this retrograde until the beginning of April. But from, let's say, the end of this week already, we'll feel a relief. We'll feel ourselves coming back, being more practical, taking things forward, strategically. Coming back to life as spring awakens in the northern side of the globe. Wednesday, do not overdo yourself, overextend yourself. It could be a day that we could feel that our reach could be farther and larger than it could really be. So don't overshoot your mark. Thursday. Could be a little tense. Don't be harsh judges or obsessive about things. And tolerance is a key word for Thursday. Friday, Chiron would be squaring the nodes exactly through all this period with Chiron squaring the nodes. I've talked about it a couple of videos ago. This is a time to understand that only by addressing the wounds, our communal wounds, our personal wounds, will we go forward as people, as a nation, as a culture, as a civilization, as a race. And definitely the time to ponder it is now. Over your personal life, what are the wounds that are shackling your feet down and keeping you behind? What would you like to finally release and heal? Take yourself back to when the trauma occurred, whether you were a child, whether you were an adolescence. See it now, bravely, lovingly, not critically, lovingly. See it now. Oh, Ichuchi, it's there. And understand now with your experience, with your tools, with your knowledge that you hold today that you didn't then, what really happened. What the other person involved felt, where he or she were coming from, and what happened to you as a child or a young person. Ma, I'm already going to finish. I'm already going to finish. Ma, what do you want? I'm going to finish. Is it good? Let's see it. Come on, you can. יופי. כל הכבוד. כן. And where was I? So, yeah. Um, I forgot what I was saying. But only by addressing our wounds and bravely seeing things as we see them today and understanding what really happened there, what transpired, and what trauma it created. And how that trauma created a behavioral pattern within us or within society. That if we will not free ourselves of, so we'll keep dragging this wound with us to shape our present and constrict our future. This is an amulet I had made for me when I was a kid. I didn't wear it for many years. I have the same tattoo. Anyway, Saturday, Saturday is a wonderful day with wonderful energies in the sky, regardless of what I said. I mean, the sensitivity is still there, but this is a wonderful day to go out to nature or on a trip, do some spiritual activity. I don't know. 
do something with yourself on that day because there's great energy in the sky it's great time to be in nature and that's another big big battery charger that I want to talk to you about not only community friends and family but also nature and spirit both can really help us really help us recharge and being alone is suggested by coronavirus uh, um, ecstatics and doctors and regulations so at least if we are alone <laughs> let us be alone with people we love and hopefully in a beautiful surrounding in nature why not anyway <clears throat> I'm coming over you know all the flights from Israel are stopping as corona spreads but um, I'll still be I mean uh, Israel doesn't have a lot of coronavirus uh, uh, cases thank God but people the the health department here is very strict and it demands everybody coming from Europe to be in isolation for 14 days so companies are just canceling flights because no one wants to fly here and it's not economical I'm supposed to fly in a month hopefully by then coronavirus would be ending as it gets hotter and hopefully that virus cannot exist in hotter temperatures and that would be something that would be a bad dream in the past and flights would be okay but my schedule <coughs> is on is according to plan I'll be in Amsterdam for the first week of April if you want to schedule a reading with me this is the time to do it because it's filling up and the same goes <laughs> for the southwest of the United States and the next three weeks of April. I'll be going and touring and teaching and meeting clients on special rates both for Amsterdam and the States. And it is filling up as well. So if you want a time personally with me, I suggest you contact me now, of course, for lessons and astrological consultations. All the details are at the end of the slide. Thank you for listening and spreading this word. May we all live long and prosper. Litrot, take it to Litrot, Chuchi. Bye, bye.